Right, hopefully you set up your problem this way uh, for your 7 tenths one. Okay, we're dividing by 10. 10 should be on the outside. 7 divided by 10. Uh, and we know that it's going to be less than one whole, so our answer should result in something less than one whole. 10 goes into 7, 0 times. I'll just put my decimal point right here, bring it straight up, and then we're doing 10 into 70. 10 goes into 70 7 times. 7 times 10 is 70, take away equals 0. If we get to the point where we have no remainder, we can just stop. Okay, so our answer to 7 tenths as a decimal is point, or 0 0.7, which is also 7 tenths. These two things are equal. They are the same thing. All right, 2 sevenths is a decimal. Same thing here. We know this is going to be less than a whole. Okay, so our answer should reflect less than one whole. 7 goes into 2, it doesn't. So there's our zero holes. We bring our decimal point straight up. 7 goes into 20. That would be twice. 2 times 7, 14. Take away equals 6. Bring down my first zero here. 7 goes into 60. 5, 6, 7, eight. let's see, 7 times 8 is 56, so it's got to be 8 times. Okay, That would be 56. Take away equals 4. Bring down my next zero. 7 goes into 40. Um, 6 would be 42, so that's too much, so we've got 5. 5 times 7, 35, equals 5. Okay. I'm not seeing a pattern yet, so we better keep going just in case. I'll uh, bring down my zero here. 7 goes into 50. That would be 7 times, because that's 49. 1, bring down my next 0. Uh, 7 goes into 10 once. I'm going to stop there because I haven't seen any sort of a pattern here yet. Okay, There could be a pattern if we kept going for a while, but I'm not going to worry about it. So my answer here is I could write out the whole thing. I could write 0 0.28571. I could also round it. Um, if I rounded it to the tenths place, that would just be... 0.3, because I'd look at take the 2, look at the 8, says to round it up, so that would be 0.3. If I want to round to the hundredths place, uh, that's the hundredths place, so I'd look at the 5, that says to round that up, the 5 rounds up, so I got 0.29. Uh, if I wanted to round to the thousands place, here it is, I'd look at the 7, that tells me to round that up, I could go 0.286. Those would all be acceptable answers for this one. All right, here's our mixed number one, uh, and you could have done this two different ways. You could have just kept it as the two and a half, and then just worried about the half part, and just brought the two down here, ready to put in front of the decimal, or you could have changed this to five halves, change it to its improper fraction form, uh, and then you know it's going to be five divide two. Five divide by two, we know that this is going to be more than one whole when we're done here. Okay, so we can do it both ways. Uh, if we do it this way, better put my point zero, get at least a couple of these on here. Okay, two does not go into one. Okay, um, so I will, I can put a zero there, that would be fine. Okay, my decimal point, two goes into ten, five times, five times two is ten, no remainder. Uh, so my decimal portion of this is 0.5. I could put this right after my whole number, which would be 2.5. We should get the same thing up at the top for the other one. Let's try it out. 2 goes into 5, and I, maybe I should put my point zero, zero, zero after it here. 2 goes into 5 twice. 2 times 2 is 4. Take away equals 1. Bring down my 0. Okay, Make sure my decimal point goes straight up. 2 goes into 10. 5 times. 5 times 2 is 10. Take away equals 0. No remainder. 2.5 is my answer. 2.5. So look at this. Either way I did it, I'm going to get the same answer because these two fractions, 2.5 and, and 5 halves, are exactly the same. Our last one is 7 elevenths. Obviously 7 elevenths is going to end up being less than one whole. 
because 7 out of 11 is less than 1 hole. Remember, 11 out of 11 would be 1 hole, but 7 out of 11 is less than 1 hole. So I have to set it up like this. 7 divide 11. 7 divide 11. Okay. 11 doesn't go into 7. Put my 0, my decimal point. 7, or 11 goes into 70. That would be not 7 times, but 6 times, because that would be 66. Take away equals 4. Drop down my 0. Uh, 11 goes into 40. That would be 3 times, because that would be 33. Uh, that would be 7. Bring down my 0. 11 goes into 76 times, so that would be 66. That would be a 4. Bring down another 0. 11 goes into 40 3 times. Now, I think you're starting to see a pattern here. My repeating decimal, it's going to be point six three six three. If we kept going six three six three six three, it's going to keep going. So I'm going to write my answer like this. No holes, zero point six three repeating. The six three just keeps going on forever. The last thing I'll leave you with before you do the practice things for yourself coming up here. Um, you can use a calculator to check. I'm fine with that. Uh, just make sure that if you're wrong, you go back and fix your work. And how that works is, just, I mean, just how you do it on here. 4 divide 5 is exactly what you'd punch in the calculator. As you see, I've done the problem here, and I got 0 0.8 or 8 tenths. Uh, terminating decimal, it stops. So on a calculator, if I do the same thing, I don't know if you, how well you're going to be able to see this. If I do 4 divide... 5 equals, and again, I got the same thing I got on the board, 0 0.8. I know I'm in pretty good shape then. So use the calculator to check is fine, but if you're wrong, just make sure you go back and fix your work.